Hola chicos, en este video vamos a hablar de los verbos al revés, what we might refer to as backwards verbs. You um, should have, I hope, watched my previous video on backwards verbs or goose star-like verbs. Um, all these verbs work the same way, kind of goofy, and their team captain is goose star. So that's why they're often referred to as goose star-like verbs. So today we're going to look at some new ones listed down there. Let's figure out what they mean. Doler means to hurt. So if I, instead of saying my head hurts, what we're going to say is my head hurts me. And Dolaire has these nice little asterisks right there because, you got it, it's irregular. It is a stem changer. So we have duele and duelen as our options. Molestar is a false cognate. It does not mean to molest. It means to bother or to annoy or to bug. Okay? So when little kids are arguing in the backseat of the car like, she's bugging me, this is the verb we would use to express that idea, okay? Enfadar and enojar are synonyms. They both mean to make angry. So, oh, that makes me so angry. This is the way we would express it. However, you might have heard me say that I would reserve enfadar for when you are outraged, when you are really angry. Enojar, oh, pardon me, is when you're just angry. Faltar means to lack, and so this one kind of looks a little bit goofy, but if we think about it, um, I imagine like I'm at the grocery store and I forgot my list at home. And so I'm wandering around trying to figure out what am I missing, what am I lacking, and that's where we're going to use this. So I could say, oh, me faltan los platanos, the bananas are lacking to me, right? I'm missing bananas, I need to go buy bananas, that's how we're going to express it. So let's go ahead and see these um, in context in a couple examples. Always remembering the whole time that we don't translate words, we communicate ideas, okay? So we know these work backwards from English. That's the whole point of this presentation. So we've seen this example before, school interests me. Now, I can say school is interesting to me or I'm interested in school. That's super, but that's really not the way we're going to express it in Spanish. But we're not going to go word for word. We're going to go backwards. So we're going to say, me interesa la escuela. Okay? So I'm moving pretty fast here. So if you need to pause or rewind at any time, please do so. But these are old examples. So now I'm going to look at a new example. The noise bothers her. So I could express this in other ways. Like, the noise is annoying to her. Or she is annoyed by the noise. But I'm going to use our word, molestar. So again, we're going to go backwards. We're going to say to her, which we express with le. If I wanted to include a ella, I totally could. And that would just go at the beginning. Then we have our verb, molesta. And then the word for the noise is el ruido. So this is the backwards verb, just like all the other ones we've seen so far. Nothing new. So we're, in fact, going to use the same formula. We're going to say a, and then a person. And then our indirect object pronoun, me te le nos les, okay? Then we're going to throw in a verb and add the thing. Whew, sounds like a lot. It's not that hard. So an example could be, your feet hurt. To you, to you, right? This part's optional. Verb, duelen, los pies. Now, remember that the your feet are what's verbing. So we're going to conjugate your the verb here for your feet. That's why it's duelen, not dueles. You're not hurting yourself. Your feet are hurting you. Okay? We're going to see another example. A ellos les enfada Tom Brady. So Tom Brady just makes them crazy, right? So we have a and our, our person, ellos. We have our correct IOP that matches them. We have our verb, and our verb is conjugated for the thing, or in this case, the person who is making them extremely angry. It's the same formula, nothing new here that we learned from the Gustar-like verbs. And that's pretty much all there is to our backwards verbs, just knowing that how the new ones work. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye!